a lovely good morning to everyone once again welcome back my channel the learning destinations and i'm your host avinash guys today i'm going to cover very useful and important topic and the topic is how you can monitor your mongo database using prometheus and the grafana guys under the same section it is monitoring sections i have already covered that how you can monitor your mysql db or the postgresql db using the help of prometheus and the grafana guys if you haven't yet covered these sessions then please go under the sections of monitoring tool playlist and you can watch all these tutorial over there simultaneously i have also provided if you haven't yet installed the prometheus and the grafana and if you haven't yet integrated the proper prometheus and the grafana together then these videos are also available you can go and watch all these videos so today's topic is how we can monitor the mongo database using prometheus and the grafana so now i am going to start it one more request guys if you haven't yet subscribe my channel then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well now i am moving towards the practical session hey guys so now i am directly jumping onto the practical session and firstly i need to install the mongo db exporter so i am going to create one of the directory mongo db exporter and i am going to inside that directory and where i will download the specific mongo db exporter package guys in order to publish the matrix under the prometheus we must have the exporter exporter package okay so for each and every database there is a exporter package that we need to install and we need to use as a system d file so we can start it as a service okay but before creating the prometheus user let me untar it first so now you can see that we have this mongodb exporter and we need to send it so before that i need to create the prometheus user guys i have already created the prometheus user so user is already exist if it is not created or not exist under your system you can simply create it so now i am going to move this mongodb exporter file under the usr local bin so i can use as a system d file so i i can ex i can convert this mongodb exporter as a service and I, so it it will be pretty much easy for me to start stop these services now check once again the mongodb services so guys mongodb i have already installed under this system and which is already running so you can see that the process is so already now i am going to connect the mongodb database and i need to create user which i have already created so this is the command guys where you can see that i am going to create i am going firstly under the admin database where i am creating user mongodb exporter and i am giving the password red hat right so guys if this user is already created under my system so you need to create it if it is not created okay so you don't need to worry about it each and every command i am going to give it under the description sections and you can simply take it from there so let me show you the user is already created okay and then uh like get users i am not much familiar with the mongodb command hope this should be right yes it working right so here you can see that the mongodb exporter user is already existed okay so i don't need to create it so i say as of now exit by and i can export this one let me show you that mongodb which port number it is using and and the ip address so you can see that it is running on this one 00027017 so i keep 00 so it can allow it can have the ip address however if you are using in production i do not recommend this right uh, you use the specific public or the private ip address whatever is feasible for your infrastructure for your architecture okay so i'm going to export this this one and after that we need to restart the mongodb as well so system ctl restart mongodb in my case it is not needed uh, because my user has been already created in your case because you are going to try first time so you need to create the user and after that you need to restart the mongodb as well okay so it is running now uh, we have to go under this right and we are so we are just now going to convert the mongodb exporter as a service so we can use as a start stop okay then after that these are the configurations guys these all the configuration you can simply take it from the description sections i am going to give all these descriptions 
all these details under the description sections okay so let me save it and then daemon reload because i am changing under the service file and then restart mongodb export service let's see that let's check the status so it is running okay now mongodb you can see that guys here the node perconas mongodb exporter runs on port 9216 it means that it is publishing the matrix on 9216 port number right so this system ip address is 106 this one okay so now i am going to access it 192.168.56.106 and port number 9216 slash matrix okay so this is the default path what happened some oh so there is a spelling mistake here uh, ip mistake here the so 192 so now you can see that all the matrix is coming here the mongodb related all the matrix right so now time to configure these target under the uh, prometheus server so we can use as a target under the prometheus servers and simply we can run the query we can execute the query from the prometheus server okay guys so this is my prometheus server and i am going to make entry as a target inside the configurations file of prometheus server so i am just copying these lines so i have already covered the different database topics right so you can see that there are various target is available under this configuration file because I have previously covered the Postgres SQL uh, exporter, MySQL D exporter, right? So all these details are here. And let me align it properly because it is given in YAML. So if indentation is not clear, it will directly give me the error. And port number is nine two one six. Okay. And I, since it is a MongoDB, so I keep the name MongoDB exporter. mongodb exporter okay so all looks okay fine let me restart it from within the server system ctl restart prometheus i think it should be okay if it wasn't okay then it should be give me the error status wow i definitely i made some changes wrong changes is i yeah here you can see that it is not properly aligned so i think now it should be okay let me do everything okay for all the details i think this time it should work let me restart it again restart okay let me check the status so now prometheus has been successfully started now let time to check the target under the prometheus server so my prometheus is already running on 9090 and then i am going under the status target and i need to search 92 so here you can see the right it is up the status already up and here you can ch check all the matrix here right and you can run some queries as well from here mongo memory right so it is giving all the values all the queries so there are different different queries you can just play go ahead and play with that there are a lot of matrix that you can get the details from here by running all these queries so you can just go ahead and play one by one okay so now time to show you how you can import the dashboard the mongodb dashboard inside the graph so far now we have successfully installed the mongodb exporter and we have successfully sync it with the prometheus and we have run few queries from the prometheus server now it's time to show you that how you can configure it through the grafana and how you can import the best dashboard for the mongodb for better visualization so guys uh, my grafana server is already ready right and now i am going to show you how you can Uh, import the base dashboard for mongodb right so guys this is one of the dashboard which i already found from the google 
right? And you can simply go on the Google and search the MongoDB dashboard Grafana uh, with the help of some such kind of key, right? And you will get the base dashboard for the MongoDB. So this is one of the dashboard 1207 and which I am going to use it here. So you need to create the plus sign and then you need to create the import and put it here. Load here, you need to change the ID. So ID is 12012079, right? So let me re verify it. So the ID is 12079, okay? Let's add the Prometheus. One more, one more thing, guys, which I forgot to tell you, right? So uh, you can select as a data source Prometheus, yes, right? So this is what we have done exactly. We have Install the uh, uh, MongoDB exporter, right? And after that, we have integrated with the Prometheus server, right? And then we have run few queries from the Prometheus server. And now we are uh, just creating the dashboard for better visualization. So actually, the data is being fetched from the Prometheus. So we need to select data source as a Prometheus. So we can say import, right? And here you can see that the details is already coming document operations, document query executor. And uh, uptime you can see here 13.1 minute, right? So there are various data is already coming, right? So you can go one by one and uh, you can check all the datas here, right? So this is uh, this is one of kind of dashboard, guys. So there are various dashboard available as well. And according to your need, according to your preference, you can select different dashboard as well. So that's all guys. This is what I wanted to show you that how you can monitor your Mongo database through the Prometheus and the dashboard for the graph now for better visualizations. So if you have any queries, please feel free to write me in the comment sections and I will help you there. If you have any suggestions, any feedback, your feedback suggestions are always welcome. Please write me. And if you are while configuring it, if you have any queries, please write me in the comment sections. I will help you guys. So that's all for the day, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this session. If you have any queries, don't forget to ask me in the comment sections. I will see you in my next tutorial. Till the time, thank you so much for watching this. And please, guys, please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and the colleague as well. See you. Bye-bye. Take care.